The Marquis de Sade, born Donatien Alphonse Francois de Sade, was a French nobleman and writer who lived from 1740 to 1814. He is infamous for his highly controversial and sexually explicit works, which were considered obscene and pornographic in his own time and remain controversial to this day. Despite being imprisoned for much of his life, de Sade's influence on literature and philosophy has endured, with his ideas about individual freedom, sexuality, and morality continuing to challenge and provoke readers. De Sade was born into a wealthy aristocratic family in Paris and was educated in prestigious schools before joining the French army at the age of 18. He was a soldier for several years before being discharged due to ill health. He began to develop an interest in literature and philosophy, reading the works of writers such as Rousseau and Voltaire, who would later influence his own writings. De Sade's literary career began in earnest in the 1760s, with the publication of his first works, including Dialogue Between a Priest and a Dying Man, which was highly critical of the Catholic Church, and The Bedroom Philosophers, which explored sexual themes in a satirical manner. However, it was his later works, such as Justine and 120 Days of Sodom, that would cement his reputation as a writer of extreme and disturbing material. Justine, published in 1791, tells the story of a virtuous young woman who is repeatedly subjected to sexual abuse and violence by various men. The novel is notable for its explicit descriptions of sadomasochistic acts and its portrayal of sexuality as a tool of power and domination. 120 Days of Sodom, written during de Sade's imprisonment in the Bastille, is even more graphic in its depictions of sexual violence and depravity, with the story revolving around a group of wealthy libertines who imprison a group of young men and women in a secluded castle and subject them to increasingly brutal sexual acts. De Sade's works were highly controversial in his own time, with many of them being banned and their author being imprisoned for much of his life. His writings were seen as immoral and dangerous, promoting sexual deviancy and undermining traditional moral values. However, de Sade's influence on literature and philosophy cannot be denied, with many subsequent writers, including the likes of Baudelaire and Nietzsche, citing him as an influence. One of the most controversial aspects of de Sade's work is his portrayal of sexuality as a means of power and domination. In Justine and 120 Days of Sodom, sexual acts are not just expressions of desire or pleasure, but tools of oppression and control. This reflects de Sade's belief in individual freedom and his rejection of traditional moral values, which he saw as oppressive and limiting. For de Sade, sex was a natural and necessary part of human life, and its expression should be free from any external restrictions. This emphasis on individual freedom is also reflected in de Sade's political and philosophical views. He was a strong advocate for the French Revolution and the principles of liberty, equality, and fraternity. But he also believed in the absolute sovereignty of the individual. This led him to reject the idea of social contract theory, which posits that individuals give up some of their rights in exchange for protection from the state. Instead, de Sade believed that individuals should have complete freedom to act as they wish, regardless of the consequences for others. De Sade's rejection of traditional morality and his emphasis on individual freedom have made him a highly controversial figure, both in his own time and today. His works continue to be banned and censored in many countries, and his ideas about sexuality and morality continue to challenge readers today.